would think? Who would think? All righty, that was obviously President Trump today as he headed off to Europe for tomorrow's NATO summit in Brussels. Early next week, he'll be in Helsinki for a meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. And between those two meetings, he'll be in the U.K. for a state visit. But all is not well in advance of that visit. The U.S. Embassy, strangely enough, is having to warn Americans in London to keep a low profile during the president's visit in case uh, anti-Trump protests become violent. Niall Gardner is the director of the Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom at the Heritage Foundation. He joins us now. And what a fabulous thing to be ahead of, Niall. Welcome to the program. Well, thank you very much. It's great to be here. Thank you. Yeah, it's, you know, Margaret Thatcher, of course, her history reminds us of, of the importance of England, the importance of the British people, obviously, our family. Uh, really, what is going on there? We know uh, that Prime Minister is, uh, May is in trouble, but why are Americans having to be warned uh, in London, of all places? Can you give us some background here and what to expect? Yeah, I think, firstly, I mean, this is a fairly sort of routine warning that uh, the U.S. Embassy uh, gives here in, in London with regard to potential large-scale uh, protests. We've seen these warnings given, actually, for previous visits by U.S. presidents, in particular, Okay. The, uh, the visit by George W. Bush. But having said that, um, it is, uh, you know, it is sad, of course, that you are going to see uh, some large-scale protests on the, on the streets of London. Some of those protests could potentially be violent. Uh, and uh, certainly, I think, uh, you know, left-wing groups from Britain and all over Europe certainly will be trying to mobilize and disrupt uh, this visit. They won't succeed in doing so. But they will cause a lot of traffic disruption. Uh, and certainly the authorities here are on full alert to try and prevent any outbreaks of, of violence on the streets of, of London. But there are many on the left who would like to see violence here. Well, look, we, we know, of course, not just through Prime Minister Thatcher's uh, uh, job as well. I mean, she was always under attack. Uh, but, and we know that the left is all throughout Europe. Certainly they've made some inroads, certainly in England. But the president must have some friends there. We know you're friends with him. Uh, who, what, where, where does the support base for the president there? What does yeah. it look like right now? Yeah, so there, there are a lot of supporters of President Trump here in the United Kingdom, especially Brexit supporters. President Trump is a very strong backer of Brexit. He's a believer in sovereignty and self-determination. He's been one of the biggest supporters on the world stage of Britain's exit from the European Union. So there's a lot of support for President Trump from Brexit backers, Good. among MPs uh, here in Parliament, among Conservative MPs who are Brexit supporters, but also among the general public. Those who support Brexit, I think, see in President Trump a strong supporter of Britain leaving the European Union. Also, President Trump is a very strong advocate for the U.S.-U.K. special relationship. Right. He's a great admirer of Britain. He loves Great Britain. And I think there are many people here in Great Britain who, uh, who uh, strongly believe in the special relationship it, and who believe the president's visit is very important. You know, Niall, I think part of one of my arguments has been that the media has been, I think, misleading us about the depth of the supposed division between Americans or in England, uh, that, in fact, perhaps there's a lot more support. We've seen it certainly sweep through Europe, this desire for genuine and freedom, for self-determination, for an end to the left controlling our lives and destroying it, that that is, of course, a, a, genuine, a genuine human desire. Uh, and I think the media is misrepresenting things in this regard. So when it comes to the alliance in general, uh, your prime minister is in uh, some trouble. We've seen, of, of course, issues uh, regarding that and Boris Johnson. Uh, where does the alliance politically stand for him at this point? Right. So firstly, I, I would say that the Anglo-American special relationship is very, very strong. The ties between London and Washington are extremely We think well, uh, this will make it stronger. Do you expect this trip also to make it stronger? I mean, he really it, does absolutely. make an impact when he visits. Uh, absolutely. It will strengthen the special relationship. Uh, and I think certainly uh, President Trump will be bringing with him a very bold, optimistic vision for, for Brexit. And he'll be encouraging uh, Britain to... Uh, basically handle the negotiations with the European Union with strength, resolve and conviction. So uh, I do think the advice that he'll be giving to the British uh, government will be very, very important advice, the right advice. After all, this is a British government in some turmoil. We've seen the resignation of two cabinet ministers yeah. over the last few days. Uh, and certainly I think that uh, President Trump's uh, message here in London will be a vitally important and, message and at this people, time. And people will be surprised. Uh, they will be very charmed. They will realize he's a serious man. And I think that's going to make a huge difference uh, for him and for us. Now, thank you so much for joining us and for that it's perspective. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Great job. Peter Strzok and Lisa Page are
scheduled to testify on Capitol Hill in the next two days. Not that we've had a busy week, right? What might they say and what should lawmakers be looking